world. It's your girl, Mindy C, coming at you on Sunday night. If you are live with me, you will see that red live box right there. You're on live stream. If you don't see that red live box, you're on the replay. That's okay. Hi, hello. How are you? Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate that also. If you want to follow me, tap my face right there. Boom, 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 boom. Three little dots is going to pop up. And then you can hit follow, see first, and you'll never miss one of my lives again. I am Mindy from Michigan. Thank you for tuning in tonight. I am making a... Hey, Rhonda, how are you doing? Hey, Leah, how are you doing? I'm making a cheeseburger, um, like a hamburger helper kind of thingy. So burger, some cheese, some salt and pepper, that kind of sauce. And I'm also using my healthy noodles. I'm going to get the box right now. So... I'm also using, there, there we go. I'm also using my healthy noodles. So I buy these at Costco. They come in the refrigerated section. They come in a box just like this. And there's six pouches. So this is what the pouch, and you have, they have to be refrigerated. So this is what the pouch looks like. Um, if you don't have a Costco near you, uh, I think Costco, this is an, a Costco exclusive. But healthy noodles, so at Costco, but there's other brands out there in other stores, so you can get them. So I'm using two packages of these. They're in the, the sink right now, and I'm, all you do is rinse them under cold water. So that is easy. One package of these noodles have two carbs. So I'm putting two packages in, so there's four carbs coming from the noodles. Hey, Lucia, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, Melissa, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, Kathy Clark, nice to see you. Hey, Rhonda. Okay, so I've got some regular old burger here, you guys. I browned up the burger. I'm going to throw some seasonings in here in this burger, and then we're going to make a cheese sauce. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna put some onion powder in here. Just I'm just going to shake it up in there. Just not a lot, not just enough to give it some flavor, maybe about a teaspoon. Woo! Onion powder all over the place. How are you doing? Hey, Katrina. Hey, Rhonda. How are you doing? I got some paprika. So all I've got is some brown burger, you guys. Some onion powder. Some um, paprika here. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder in there as well. In the burger mixture. Just a little bit. Teaspoon. Boom. Like that. Put a little bit of pepper in there. A little bit of salt in there. Throw that. And what else we got? I'm going to put a little bit of water in there, too. I already drained the, um, the burger because it had a lot of grease in there. So if yours has a lot of grease in there, drain it. Hey, Karen, how are you doing? Hey, Dina, nice to see you. Cheeseburger hamburger, cheeseburger helper tonight. That's what I'm making. Got to get me another spoon. We're going to stir up this meat. Again, I just put some seasonings in here, you guys. Chili, uh, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of water, a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm just going to stir up that meat so that meat's nice and coated with those seasonings. And I'm also going to squeeze a couple tablespoons of sugar-free ketchup in there too. So that's going to give it a little bit of sweetness, but not much. So just a couple tablespoons of sugar-free ketchup is going in. So and then we're going to mix that burger up. And then we are going to set this aside. So super duper easy. Brown your burger, throw in your seasonings, put a little bit of sugar-free ketchup in there. Um, if you don't have sugar-free ketchup, then um, tomato paste, like a little bit of tomato paste will work. Hey, Belle, how are you doing? Hey, Cookie, nice to see you on here. I'm making cheeseburger helper tonight. So first step, burgers done. So burgers, spices, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of sugar-free ketchup. That's the burger mixture. So next, you're going to need a saucepan, and we are going to make a simple, easy cheese sauce. Hey, Angela, how are you doing? Um, oh, put some extra garlic in there, Elena, if you want to, for sure. Make it, so season it to your taste. So you taste it. If you want a little more garlic powder, put a little more garlic powder. That's totally acceptable. So I always free pop. Um, I always free pour it, so and then I taste it. If it needs more of something, um, then I'll change it. So we need a saucepan. We need a couple ounces of cream cheese, um, some butter, some salt and pepper, and some cheddar cheese. So shredded cheddar. So that's that's it. So we're first we're going to put 
two tablespoons of butter in there. I've already got it measured out there, so let's just put that. So we're going to melt two tablespoons of butter in this saucepan, and we, this is going to be our cheese sauce. So one pound of burger, some paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of, I used a little bit of sugar-free ketchup, so that's going to give it a little bit of a sweet taste, but not much. So just for flavoring. So we're going to melt this butter up, and then we're also going to put in one half cup of heavy whipping cream. Hey, Lois, how are you doing? Hey, Kathy, nice to see you. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to I'm gonna melt the butter first before I put it in, before I put the heavy whipping cream in there. So the butter's almost melted. So that's it. Two pans, really. Well, in a bowl if you're going to need a bowl. If you don't have the healthy noodles, you could put broccoli in there. You could put cauliflower in there. You could even put like riced cauliflower. So you could do vegetables. So you could do a vegetable with this. You could throw cabbage in there as well. Hey, Jerlene, how are you doing? Nice to see you, Lois, from Massachusetts. All right. Oh, got splashed by the hot butter. Okay, so there we go. We're making a simple, easy cheese sauce, you guys, and cheeseburger helper tonight. So super duper easy. So if you're just tuning in, I already made the burger mixture. This is one pound of browned burger. I drained it and I put paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of salt and pepper, and a couple tablespoons of sugar-free ketchup. So that's my meat mixture. And now I'm making the cheese sauce to go over top. And I'm also using my healthy noodles that I buy from Costco. So if you don't have healthy noodles by you or you don't have that um, at all, then you can put a vegetable in there. Broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, bell peppers, mushrooms. Or if you want to use chicken, you could even do a chicken helper too. So whatever meat you want. Turkey, burger. So there we go. The butter's melted. So I am going to put the heavy whipping cream in there. One half cup of heavy whipping cream. Hey, Pamela, how are you doing? Hey, Kelsey. Hey, Deborah. nice to see you on here. Okay, if I missed you, I apologize. I'm looking down. Um, two ounces of cream cheese, and I softened it first. So heavy whipping cream and cream cheese, softened cream cheese. That's going in there. And, and then I'm going to whisk it until we can get this smooth. So... And then I'm also going to put a little bit of salt and pepper in there. So a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Not much salt because we're using cheese and cheese has a lot of salt in it. So there we go. I'm going to get my whisk out because we're going to whisk this cream cheese, butter, and heavy whipping cream until everything's smooth. And then we're going to add the cheese in there. And then we are going to incorporate it into our burger and our noodles. And then that's going to be your dish. So again, if you don't have the healthy noodles, you guys, just improvise and use something else. Um, some kind of vegetable. A lot of stores are carrying the, the noodle alternatives now. Um, so you can look in your... Usually they're in where those, like all the... Um, I don't know, the section where they have egg roll wrappers. They have... Um, that kind of section. That's where they're at. I think the Chinese, the Chinese, Japanese section, all of that stuff. So they have those noodles. So I always buy the healthy noodle from Costco. That one is my favorite. And if you're just tuning in, I'm making cheeseburger helper tonight. Hey, Megan, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Uncle Brian. Thank you. All right. Cheeseburger helper tonight. That's what I'm making. Super duper easy. And right now, I'm just making sure that cream cheese melts into that heavy whipping cream. A little bit of salt and pepper and a couple tablespoons of butter so far. So once it's all smooth and you can see that there's no lumps in there from the cream cheese, then we are going to put some cheddar, shredded cheddar in there. Cheese makes everything better, right? And that is it. So let me get that whisk. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to get my shredded cheddar. I got just the... The regular all fancy shredded shredder um, from, where did I get this? I buy it at Sam's Club in a big old five pound bag and then I freeze it. So this came out of the freezer. It freezes really nice. This was one This was one that I pulled out yesterday from the freezer. You can see how nice it freezes and unthaws. It unthaws in like five, six minutes on the counter. It's really quick. So we are going to put about a cup and a half in the cheese mixture. So there we go, that should be enough. So you wanna make extra cheese sauce, then you can do that. Just double the ingredients or whatever you need to do. So I'm gonna get my whisk, 
And we are going to melt in that cheddar. It will melt fairly fast, you guys. So it doesn't take long at all. So you can um, definitely, you want, you want to work on a lower heat when you're doing these cheese sauces because it will burn quickly. So I've got mine... I've got mine on a two, so you know it goes. Mine goes low, two, four, six, eight. I've got mine on a two. Hey, mom, how are you? I'm making cheeseburger helper tonight. Super duper easy. Just made a quick and easy cheese sauce with uh, butter, heavy whipping cream, cream cheese, salt and pepper, and shredded cheddar. So you can see that's all ready. Um, it's going to be a little stringy. But that's okay, because once we incorporate it into the burger, I'm going to turn that down. And then we are going to pour that in and get the noodles in there. And then we are going to dive in. Hey, Trisha, how are you doing? Hey, Shay, nice to see you on here. The pasta, Jennifer, is called Healthy Noodle. Um, Hold on a second. So it's from Costco. This is the box it came in. So this is the box. It's in the refrigerator section. It's called Healthy Noodle. Um, you get six pouches in here. So they need to be refrigerated. So one pouch has two carbs in it. So it says um, there's two servings in here. So technically... Oh, I okay. So there's two carbs. Yeah, the, for the whole pouch, it's two carbs. So if you use half of it, it's only one carb. So I'm using two pouches tonight. So you just have to rinse it under cool water and you can add it to anything. They're already softened so you can add it to soups. Um, I've made chicken fettuccine alfredo with this. I've made chicken parmesan, um, chicken noodle soup. Um, tonight I'm making a cheeseburger helper with these. Um, that's where I get them from. Oh, I gotta get the spatula. Let me get the spatula. Oh wait, I gotta get the, I gotta get the Mickey Mouse, the Mickey Mouse spatula. There we go. So pour that cheese sauce right in your burger mixture, you guys. And again, if you're just tuning in, it's one pound of burger. I browned it up. I used garlic powder, onion powder, and some paprika, and a little bit of um, salt and pepper. And then I put about two tablespoons of sugar-free ketchup in there, too, to coat it up really good. So... And then I made myself a, a quick and easy cheese sauce. So half cup of whipping cream, two tablespoons of uh, butter, a little bit of salt and pepper, and two ounces, and then some shredded cheddar. That's that's it. So I'm turning the burner on a little bit while I turn put these healthy noodles in there, and then we're gonna stir everything up. So let me get these things out because these might work better to stir it up and we'll get that cheese sauce pick that up and then mix that in really good and again you guys this is this is something that you can do with chicken this is something you can put any kind of vegetable in um, if you don't have these healthy noodles you can totally do a broccoli burger mixture you can do um, you can you can get creative with it so the hardest part here is mixing it up like this. So you could even use just one package of noodles, but I'm going to stretch this recipe. So we have enough for lunches for a few days. So this is going to be delicious. So we're just kind of scooping that up in there. And then once it starts getting warmed up, because I got it on the burner. And you can even add more burger if you needed more burger. Um, if you wanted to make a bigger, more meat in there. So this is only one pound of burger, you guys. And it looks like I'm going to get a, a good six servings out of this from the healthy noodles that I'm putting in. So that's good enough. Now I'm going to get a spoon and we are going to stir it with a spoon. Get that and then we're going to toss that over. And this is it, you guys. Cheeseburger helper tonight. There you go, you guys, and that is all you need. A little bit of a cheese sauce, some burger, some spices, and you are done. Hey, Trisha, how are you? Oh, my goodness, I didn't even. You're welcome, Jennifer. Hey, hey, Christy, how are you doing? Hey, Deb and Jeff, how are you doing? I made a quick and easy cheeseburger helper tonight with my Costco Healthy Noodles so this whole bowl of goodness right here 
and I'm going to show you. Let me turn off that burner. This whole bowl of goodness right here. And this is a lot in here, you guys. And it doesn't look much on camera because it's noodles, burger, and cheese. But this whole bowl is only six carbs. So there is at least good three big servings in here for you. Or you can divide it in half and do six small servings. So that's, that's what I got for you tonight. Hey, Doreen, how are you doing? Hey, Charlie, nice to see you. Hey, Pamela, nice to see you on here. So that's what I got tonight. So there's a little more noodles in here because I stretch it. Normally, I would just use one package of noodles, but just a basic cheese sauce, you guys, some spices, some burger, and again, you don't have the noodles, put some broccoli in there, put some cauliflower, put your vegetables in there so you can still make yourself like a cheeseburger, whatever you want. Cheeseburger surprise! cheeseburger surprise okay so you guys so i'm gonna watch um tonight i've been starting to watch that yellowstone i don't know if anybody else has watched that yellowstone on um i don't even know what's on my mom told me about it so i started watching it so i'm watching that tonight mom i, I think i'm on episode three in season one so i really like that um show a lot so i'm gonna eat some cheeseburger helper and watch some kevin Casker and yellowstone and watch the cowboys so I hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday night. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, Lynn Campbell, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.